Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if else if and conditional logic number six and operators. Again, you will see the JavaScript Boolean operators and or or in the code toolbox. You can drag them out or simply type them. Now let's try using an and operator. As a reminder, if both statements are true, then and evaluates to true. If either or both are false, the AND operator will evaluate to false. We have a do this here. We've provided you with a starting code that prompts the user to enter their age and stores it in a variable. Add an if statement with the Boolean expression that uses an AND operator to express. What are we expressing? Well, if the age is between 13 and 19, you write you are a teenager. Else, we're going to write you are not a teenager. If you look up here, this one's a little different. So in the other one, if just one was true, it ended up being true. This is the reverse. So in this instance, and both of these have to be true. So in the first example, if both are true, then it's true. And then the other examples, if just one is false, it's always going to evaluate to false. So be aware of what you're using. This seems pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. We have a variable age in a prompt num. So we have a box that's going to pop up up here and it's going to ask your age. Then we're going to write your age is, and then we have the variable being called here age. Below here, we're going to write our code. If something happens, you're going to write you're a teenager, or you're going to write you are not a teenager if it does not meet those conditions. Hmm, pretty straightforward. Well, I know I have to work in here within my if statement. What, what are we comparing to? Well, we're comparing to our variable age. And what do we know? Well, we want to know if somebody is older than 13, greater than or equal to what? Well, the first one's going to be 13. So our first condition is they have to type a number larger than 13 in. Our second one we're going to do and, and, and again, we're going to do age. This time though, we want the age to be less than. What do we want it to be less than or equal to? That one is gonna be 19. So if they type in a number that is greater than 13 and less than 19, it'll write, you're a teenager. If they write a number that is above 13, say 22, but not less than 19, it'll write, you are not a teenager. Let's test out our code. Run, our box pops up. Let's do the easy one, 15. Okay, you're a teenager. Reset run, let's enter my age, 24. Okay, I am not a teenager. Hmm. Looks like our code is working the way we want it to. If we go back up here, we added our if statement with a Boolean expression with the and operator. If the age is between 13 and 19, it does write you're a teenager. Otherwise, it writes you are not a teenager. I think that's all code wants for us in this lesson. Let's go ahead and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.